if I traded it all, if I gave it Welcome back, everyone. And you know what? We have Solar Sandy, who's on fire right now. She is really on fire and so excited about something that she's got going on. And especially this weekend, I want everybody to listen up. I'm also live with everybody on Facebook. Hi, you guys. Follow us, please. Like us. And all of this, this you're hearing from Solar Sandy. Solar Sandy has been on a mission. Now you're on. so excited about what's going on this weekend. Tell everybody. She's live here right now. Tell everybody what's going on. I'm going to be live at Financial Fest. Come and meet me. I have a booth from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I am doing some very cool giveaways to help you save money on a bill you're already spending way too much money on. So one of the giveaways, you, in order to be entered to win it, you have to fill out your kilowatt worksheet in order to win this. The smart, cool feature reduces the kilowatt consumption on your, ele- on your AC units. Therefore, my APS people, APS buys that extra power back at 12.9 cents. So if I'm saving you hmm, three, 4,000 kilowatts a year, APS is buying that back from you. Your roof is now making you money. Isn't that exciting? So thi- this is for anybody? Or Any, for- uh, anybody. APS, SRP, they come down, they sell out their kilowatt worksheet, their uh, kilowatt worksheet, they're entered to win the smart, cool feature for their home valued at $3,500. Five people are also going to win a home energy efficiency evaluation from me. That's where we're going to evaluate their home, their energy usage, and then I'm going to do a rate plan review and a solar saving proposal for them and save them money on a bill that they're already spending too much money on. And May 1st, APS, SRP, our bills are going up, and APS especially, they are going to go up absolutely significantly. I, I've been talking and talking about this all week long on other radio shows that I'm doing. People are going to be in shock, and I'm not. this is not shock and awe, Carol. This is absolutely the truth. A $400 bill, which is not unheard of in Arizona, people who are on budget billing, $240 budget billing is a $500 bill. So a fi- $400 bill is not unheard of in Arizona. A $400 bill under these new rate plans, These are the, this is the second part of the APS increase. The new rate plans will, a $400 bill can look like anywhere from $546 to $949, and I am not joking. So there was a flyer that came out that APS says, a different plan for different people. And I know what I'm talking about, and after I read it, I was confused. And here's what it's telling you. You've got to do this at this time, and you've got to do this at this time, and you've got to change the way you're living in your house. Essentially, APS is wanting you to be confused and just throw your hands up and go any meeny miny mo. If you end up picking the plan that you think is the best one for you, and you can call APS and they'll make a recommendation, but in fine print on that little piece of paper, if you go outside of the parameters of the plan that you chose and you're over the kilowatts or the demand charges, they will move you off the plan you chose and they will put you on the other plan and you'll be locked into that for 90 days. So I've, uh, I just was with a, a lady and her daughter last night who called APS and they said, oh, well, you could sh- you should go on this one. But if you exceed it, we'll take you off of it. So she said, Sandy, everything that you're telling us on the radio is absolutely true and correct. And I had there- another guest call, listener call me just the other day. He was asking some questions and he said he got, got some uh, panels from you too. I've, we have, you've helped a lot of people that I, have been I on the have, show. I have. And you know, it's, there's going to be those people that are going to go, oh, well, it can't be that bad. Well, you know what? It is. Um, our, our May 1st, the rates change. Our first bill from that rate change will come in June. Most people have their bills on auto pay, and even if you don't, what are you going to do? Call up AP and say, I'm not paying this bill. It's 120 degrees in June, and you're going to pay the bill. You're going to just figure out where you've got to cut back somewhere else. So PYOP makes so much more sense now than ever. If you've talked to me before, call me again. This is a whole new rate plan. APS has changed everything. So what I do, Carol, is I want them to do their kilowatt worksheet. Go to my website. Make sure it's the, my website. There's a fake one out there, and you don't want to go to that one because they're going to ask you about uh, home alarms, and I don't sell home alarms. I just am an energy-efficient mom and a grandma and a retired nurse that's trying to help people save money on their electric bills. So make sure you go to AskSolarSandy.com. My website just got updated, and Saturday it should be all pretty and even more pretty than it was before. I'm so excited about it. Makes it really simple for you to kill, 
out, fill out that kilowatt worksheet. Get that to me. Then I'm going to see how much power you used, how many panels you need to replace that power, and then I'm going to set a time to meet with you and explain everything. So the simplicity of it is, instead of buying your power from APS or SRP now, you're producing your own power and you're paying less for it. Your home value goes up because those panels are an appreciating asset because the cost of power has a monetary value every kilowatt those panels produce over the lifetime of the panels, which is long after 30 years. Those panels last 30, 40, 50 years. That power will continue to go up in price, so the system is an appreciating asset. But now you know what you're paying for your power costs, Carol. There's no more guessing game. There's no more having to worry about, gee, did I go over? Over my kilowatts? Did I go over my demand? Let me talk about what demand is. So, in our in in our generation, our what did our mother say? Turn off the lights. We're not the power company. Right. I laugh at that. Turn one the now. lights off. We're not the power company. Well, I, Mom, you're listening. I'm not the power company, but the power company doesn't like me very much. But that's okay. Um, so. The reason we were told to turn the lights off is all we were doing is paying for the well, we were paying for the kilowatts back then. So now there's this thing called demand. The electric company wants to make even more money during the peak time of the day when we're using the most amount of power and even off peak. So when we turn a light switch on, um, we make a pot of coffee, we're doing something in the microwave and it, our AC is running, and we're just living life in our homes. For every little surge on the grid, that's called a point of demand. And an average home in the summertime will use anywhere between 10 and 15. A bigger house will use more than that. But for every point of demand on peak, APS is charging $17.44. So if you can imagine 10 points of demand, $70.44 times 10 is $174 added to your bill with the kilowatts. So this is why we're seeing such increases to these new rate plans because APS, SRB already has these. SRB already has demands. So I do the same thing for SRP. I'm going to give solar panels to give you produce your own power and pay less for the kilowatts. And we're going to manage that demand. We're going to get it down to maybe three or four points of demand. And I'm going to give you an APS more power than what you actually need. And the reason why is APS is buying those kilowatts for 12.9 cents. So if I'm giving you 5,000 extra kilowatts, that's about four or $500 credit. So that the day the panels go up there, you're overproducing, you're producing 100 kilowatts, you're only using 40 of them. 60 kilowatts, APS buys those. So by the end of the month, let's say you have a $200 credit. So now you still need to be connected to the grid because at nighttime the panels don't work. So you're going to have to buy a little bit of off-peak power from the electric company. And remember those demand charges? Well, I got them down from 174 to let's say $69. Five of them is 69 something. So let's say your bill with APS is $100. Well, you've got a $200 credit. So the $100 that APS is charging you is now covered by your $200 credit that your panels have produced that extra power with and you don't owe APS anything. Now, people can go on her website. You want to make three sure times. Say that three times. <laughs> what, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I'm, uh, breath. Yeah, I'm take a breath. So, okay, for, let me get it out. So, first of all, you want to make sure that you go on uh, Solar Sandy's website, which is asksolarsandy.com. And she's going to be at the uh, Financial Fest Embassy Suites Saturday at, from 8 to 4 p.m. You're going to be talking there. You also have everyone that's getting entered in to win. It's called a Smart Cool Feature. Features and uh, it will re it reduces your consumption with your air conditioner, so you're going to save money with them on that as well. Absolutely, and so if I'm saving you off the consumption, three four thousand kilowatts, APS is buying that extra power back. SRP, I'm just lowering so that you have maybe a no bill with SRP now. Wouldn't that be nice? Now, um, what you're going to be there? You're going to be talking. You're going be at your I'm going to be at my booth. People can come up and meet me. They can actually touch and feel like, not me, the solar panel. The demand is just, I knew what you were thinking. We're being silly here. 
that there's going to be a solar panel, there's going to be a demand management system so people can actually see and understand it. I'll have my little blue folder here where I can show how demand is built, uh, questions on the smart cool feature, um, customer's generation plan, this is SRP, I'm going to have a lot of information about the new rate plans with APS. So come down and meet me. The only way you can get entered into when the smart cool feature. Um, Should they do that now? They have to get the kilowatt uh, worksheet they have, now. They have to go get their kilowatt worksheet. It has to be back by Monday to be entered to win the drawing, and the winner is going to be announced on Tuesday. So people who come on Saturday will have like Sunday, Monday, their kilowatt worksheets have to be. And so I'm going to hand them a coupon, you know, like a ticket, so that they'll, they'll be entered to win. I'll know that that kilowatt worksheet has that ticket number. It's ask solar sandy.com make sure that you put that in there it's ask solar sandy.com go get that kilowatt worksheet and we're and and fill it out and then make sure that she gets it to you so that she can save you money on a bill that you're already paying way too much money on a bill for did i say that right? you did it's okay for trading it Welcome back, everyone. Uh, and we are talking with Solar Sandy, who is on just fire right now. So excited about she's going to be at the Financial Fest at Embassy Suites Saturday. That's tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you have listened to Solar Sandy and you haven't called her, call her. If you haven't called, Sol called Solar Sandy because you're on the fence, call her. These things change minute by minute. Now, you can call her direct, and her number is area code 623-850. 8229 but right now what you really need to do is go up on her website and fill out your kilowatt, kilowatt <laughs> worksheet okay and fill that out because everybody that gets that in she's doing this fabulous drawing for everybody we're going to talk about that the website is ask remember put it in ask solarsandy.com and what are you giving them away i'm giving what's called a smart cool feature that lowers the consumption of their ac units so therefore lower their bills and if we combine that we we want to combine it with solar it's going to I'll be able to give them a, a smaller system but APS APS the extra power APS is buying that back so your roof is now saving you money and potentially making you money and paying that unpaid portion of the bill because you're still going to have a connection fee and you're still going to have demand charges because I can reduce the demand charges down to in the summertime between four and six depending on what your power usage is. So if you have a $30 connection fee and a $69 demand fee, you get a maybe, a, and everybody's going to be different. So I'm just giving supposed numbers out. So say a $100 bill with, a, with APS, but I've created your system to generate extra power and with the smart cool feature on it, it's going to have be saving you even more kilowatts. So now APS is buying those from you and let's say the first month you have a $200 credit. Well, you get the $100 bill from APS. APS, the $200 minus $100, you still have a $100 credit. So this is really good for people. Budget billing people, listen up. Budget billing, if you're paying $240, you have a bill that's almost $500, if not more than $500. A $500 or $400 bill under the new rate plans, noon to 7 is gone. The time of use, 9 to 9, gone. And there's four real basic rate plans for people that are living in their houses. I mean living. And and using some electricity and three of the four have demand and so you're going to see that four hundred dollar bill go anywhere from 546 to 949 if you choose the plan that is none of them are good you need to be PYOP producing your own power paying less for it. you choose the plan that you think that you might be able to abide by doing all these things at night time and off peak and running your dishwasher whenever they tell you to if you go over the parameters of that plan APS will take you off the plan you picked and they will put you on the plan that they feel is best suited for you and that's not good because now you have lost control of your power and you've lost control of how much you're paying for your power so I am trying to get this message out to people. If they sat down with me last year, 
this is very different. It's not just an increase. They're changing everything about how we are living in our house and how we're paying for our power. It's a free consultation, no obligation consultation. She is valley-wide, and she is helping everyone. She has been on fire since she met me. And and really, it's, it's all about just getting the word out and talking to you people, and she's found a way to be able to do that without just knocking on each one of your doors. So here she is, and now lickety-split, lickety get split. that get that kilowatt wor wor worksheet to her because now you're also going to get uh, it entered into win this smart cool feature that it reduces the consumption on your air conditioning which is going to help you save even more money which with uh, combined with everything you might even be getting paid by they like, yes, exactly. And so, see, you know, Carol, you know that I'm just a mom and a grandma and a retired nurse that my daughter's bill was over $500 and I was on Social Security myself and I couldn't help my own daughter pay her power bill. I have been on a mission uh, four years ago, over four years ago, to help my daughter. And then I thought, you know, I can't go back to nursing because of my back injury and that. How many people do I know or would like to know this information? Because the electric companies really have, they, they hold the power over our, our, our bank accounts come come these these rate increases and these rate plan changes and all the rest of it. so year after year after year we continue to pay more and more and more for our power and you you said something I've been on a mission for a year I've learned more about these electric companies in this last year when APS did this than I have I can't, I can't even tell you. I have, because I need, in order for me to help my families uh, so that I'm not just coming out and selling you solar panels, I want you to understand how I'm saving you money. I want to understand what you've been buying from the electric company. I try and keep it simple. You wouldn't rent a car in your own city. Why? Because it's too expensive and you got fees and taxes and weekend rates and, you know, spring rate, they charge you more for a rent a car. So you would never rent a car in your own city. Why why are we renting power from the power company? Because they can add all these fees, taxes, and surcharges because we're renting our power from them. And we have a contract with them that is undefined and it's open-ended for inf infinitely while we're living in our house. So now you've got a system that's producing your power for the lifetime of your home and you know exactly what you're paying for. it. And that's better than having these awful surprises come June, July, and August in the dead heat of the summer when people who, who did super cooling before LED lights they've done every saving measure that they can those things aren't going to work this year they're just not so you've got to check her out on her website go out and check it out because it's all going to be new tonight you said tonight or tomorrow and it is ask make sure you go to ask solarsandy.com fill out the kilowatt worksheet get that in right away so that she can enter you into win this smart cool feature and it's a $3,500 value. value and then five people are going to receive a home energy efficiency evaluation from me and my team um, where we look at your windows and your ducts and things and we figure out you know if your bills are six and seven whatever your bills are we want to figure out where can we maybe help you uh, if you want to do it great but the first place to start is PYOP produce your own power and, and pay less for it, but different areas that I may be able to point out that they can reduce their consumption, reduce their kilowatts, therefore giving them a smaller system to cover the power that they need. I'm not about just going out and selling panels to somebody. I really want to help my family save money on a bill that they're already spending too much money on. This is going to increase the value of their home. Um, I'm going to tell you that... We haven't talked about this and we need to. You can help anybody, okay, and we want to talk about statewide. that. Statewide. Renter I want to talk about renters. I want to real quickly. Um, also, the, uh, anybody, if you live in a condo, there's so many people. Go Absolutely. ahead. Absolutely. Condos, mobile homes now. Okay. So everybody has to do their kilowatt worksheet. If, if, if we can't put solar on your roof, I can do several other energy efficiency measures that will allow you to save off your electric, electric bill. And this is what I mean, Carol. If you saw me a year ago, if you spoke to me a year ago, Go, maybe you just weren't quite ready yet. There's so many things that I have learned over this last really four or five months that I really am excited to share with my families. And there's not enough hours in the day for me to call everybody. So that's why I love coming on the show and saying, it, 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 again, if you've heard me before, call me. If you've seen me before, call me. If you have never heard me before, call me. Come
come and meet me on Saturday. I just, like I said, I love what I do, and I love the people that I do it for. Carol, I really am on a mission to educate. I have to said educate. it before. You're, and you were a nurse, so you like to make people comfortable. And you know what? You're going to want to be more comfortable when you don't have a heart attack, when you see your bill, right? I know. I was on Healthy Homes, the, you know, the healthy radio show, Healthy Habits this week, and we were talking about this. People stress out about their electricity bills, and I've actually been told that I save marriages because the husband wants to turn it down and the wife wants to keep it at, at 80 and so I've been I've been told that I help with marriages well, I save see. people f- from fighting well over their I'll power tell you bills. something you are on fire and you have been since I met you and I think it's just something that you've been able to really educate this is what you're all about is educating and all I know is all you do is as it is is solar 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 you eat it you drink it you sleep it and it's amazing so again all she's trying to do is help you money uh, save money on a bill that you're already paying way too much money on she's totally on fire with this and so excited you got to check out her website and make sure please that you go to her ask solarsandy.com because there are other people that are uh, trying uh, to fake my name right you don't want to do that you want to make sure you go to ask solarsandy.com also you can call her direct if you want it's 623-850-8229 but right now don't forget that Saturday tomorrow she's going to be at the financial fest embassy suites it's Saturday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and you can meet her you can see all of the different things that she's got there she's got solar panels she's gonna have the smart cooler system there everything else what else you're gonna have there? I'm gonna have a smart energy management system so so you so that people can see it and you know, just come and meet me and talk to me and um, you know again you know I love what I do and I love the people I do it for I meet such wonderful people and I you know I believe in it my daughter is very happy that I couldn't pay her bill that I that I said honey I can't pay your bill that I helped her to go solar and there's a lot of people that are very happy that I'm doing this that I'm helping them going go solar as well and she can even help you while well, you getting money back from the electric company the electric. so check her out it's ask solarsandy.com